From the Intellifluence headquarters in sunny Scottsdale, Arizona, this is the Intellifluence Influencer Spotlight. In each episode, we sit down with an influencer from our network and we discuss their background as well as their unique approach to influencer marketing. Chanel and Stevo quit their jobs and sold almost everything they owned in 2015 to travel around the world and help others take the courageous and brave jump as well. Just a few of the places they have visited include the Serengeti, Zambia, Venice, Thailand, Australia, Paris, Iceland, Switzerland, and the list goes on. Chanel and Stevo are always on the lookout for brands in the travel and lifestyle spaces who would like to take advantage of their highly engaged, travel-hungry, mostly millennial community. Chanel and Stevo tend to collect more memories than things and prefer to partner with experienced brands and occasionally with product brands that improve their travels. <laughs> All right, so yeah, let's get started. So tell us a little bit about your background in the creation of How Far From Home. We were both working in, in advertising, um, what is it, four years ago now? Yeah. And um, I, I mean, there was a lot of events that kind of led up to us quitting, but one of the bigger ones was that we both got sent down to a conference in Cape Town, from Janaburg to Cape Town. And we watched this guy by the name of Stefan Sagmeister, who is a Austrian graphic designer, speak about how important it is for a creative to take time off, have a sabbatical, get away from it, like recharge, reinvigorate. And work on passion projects, work on personal passion, passion stuff. Yeah. yeah, so, you know, we were like, hey, if, if someone's telling us we need to take a break, <laughs> then this is something that we should do. And up until then we thought that was the worst thing we could do for a career path yeah i think that was the biggest i mean yeah. i've always wanted to travel so for me it was like i'm 29 this is a good time no kids yet you know let's let's just do it why not and steve was like mm, it can't be good for the career you know i'm here we've done advertising we've been been in the industry for like seven or eight years uh, but then Stefan Sagmeister was like, no, this is good for my business. Yep. I, you know, I go away and I'm refreshed. I come back and I can charge more and, you know, just create the better work's work. better, create better work. So we were like, okay, this makes sense. Let's take a year off. Let's go do some, some creative stuff. So um, I think that was around February 2014. And then we left March 2015. So it took us a year to save and just I guess plan everything out, sell everything, you know, wait, we were, had to wait for our lease to end. Uh, but yeah, we sold off our cars and all our things practically. We we left I think one little box that we sent off to Steve's um, parents and then we packed our bags and off we went. Very nice. And then as travelers, influencers, artists, online educators, how do you structure your average day or is there even such thing as an average day for you? <laughs> Um, no, no, there's not. There's no such thing as an average day. I but. would say that there's almost, we categorize in, in two, two ways. Um, the, the one is content creation, which is just going out there, traveling, um, you know, gathering the footage, gathering the, the images. We, we shoot like crazy when we do go um, on a trip. These days, it's normally with clients. Um, we do tend to take maybe once a month we'll do a personal trip where it's somewhere we've always wanted to go or um, we just we need content and we want to go head out somewhere but the rest is with clients um, so there's that phase and then there's the second phase which is the post-production where we sit and we graft and we we work you know normal you nine computer, to five yeah. yeah pretty much and it's seven days a week and it's you know we we never rest really I mean I don't think we've had a break yes yeah, so I think <laughs> so, I think it's a lot of like uh, you know, in the deep end for, from both sides where we're just constantly shooting or we're constantly in yeah. front of the computer for, for a few days. So we try to balance it out as much as, you, as we can, but it's sometimes impossible to do that. Yeah, and also the entire time you're also planning a lot. You're doing a lot of emailing, you're doing a lot of where are we next, uh, you know, getting train tickets and flights and pitching to clients and so it's accepting a lot of stuff going pitches. On, so it's, you know, all the time. it's always it's always constant luckily there's two of us so it does help <laughs> exactly exactly so what, at what point um after you started uh the uh, how far from home site did you did you kind of integrate into uh influencer marketing i, I mean yeah I, I, I would say about nine months since we started the journey yeah. 
you know, that about that, nine that we months. we got our first client. Yeah, yeah. We, we got a steady client. Um, but it wasn't, it definitely wasn't the plan from the beginning, which I think is the best thing about it. Yeah. And I think a lot of people try to get out there and like, I'm going to become an influencer, I'm going to become mm-hmm. a content creator, put so much pressure on them on themselves. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then that stress, you know, has an effect on the work. We were just kind of doing our own thing well, and then and then our Instagram got noticed and we built a, a community from there. Yeah, I mean, originally we were meant to spend a year traveling, working on, on a passion project, <clears> you know, being this photography project of us counting kilometers, how far from home we went and doing small illustrations and little work um, along the way. That was That was the goal. And after about nine months, we got a client who was interested in us producing video content for them. And we were like, well, this is cool. Sure, you know, we, we've been shooting a bit of video. Let's get into it. And, and you know, we were still with that client. So it's it's pretty amazing, um, the relationship that we built up there. And, and slowly, as we started producing work, we started working on a portfolio. And because of that, we could get more clients and, and so forth. And as Steve mentioned, our, our community grew, but it definitely started with Instagram and, and we've kind of spread out into the rest. Got it. Speaking of Instagram, I saw on your Instagram story that you had a vote going for what experience you should do next in Kenya, which the river um, on the mangrove looked really cool. So how do you, do you let all your followers pick your experiences and do you let them choose where you're going to travel next or how do you determine what you're going to do and where you're going to go? So this particular campaign, um, we've been planning with the client for about a year now. It's been back and forth. We've always been kind of collecting community suggestions. So we have this thing called the Global Wonder List where we kind of, it's, it's, a, it's a bucket list of, of everyone who, who wants to send us stuff. So that's what we've been kind of collecting um, through the last few years. It's on our website and we try to tick, tick as many of those off as, as we can. So, I mean, that's about the, the most engagement, you know. Yeah, we have. But, but this particular campaign was purely for a client. Um, great creative idea and we, we loved it. Our community loved it. You know, we, we saw a huge spike in, in engagement. So um, a lot of positive interaction. So we'll definitely be rolling that out again sometime. Maybe with another twist. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually really cool. And I also saw that you guys prefer to work with experienced brands. So what has been your favorite brand partnership to date? Oh, geez, we've had so many. We are working with a hotel group um, this year, which is great because it's not based on the hotels. The hotels are are almost... um, the cherry on the top but what they kind of do is they are the destination authority so they they literally want us to show off the best cultural experiences that each country has to offer and for us that is the perfect partnership because we wouldn't be like okay let's just focus on all the hotels and amenities we're not really lifestyle um we are lifestyle yeah but to a point you know Yeah, yeah 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 I mean, that's a great collaboration that we're having now. And um... yeah, I mean, you know, for them, as, as Steve mentioned, they want to be known as the destination authority. So the content is, you know, based around cultural experiences. We went to the Holly Festival, we went to Into Raimi Festival, um, potentially going to Day of the Dead in Mexico. So it's, although it is a hotel group, you know, we're partnering for those experiences, which is which has been probably our best relationship. And that relationship also mm. started about two years ago when we did a trip for them. Uh, they sent us on another one because they liked the work. Then they sent us on a third one and we actually got to meet the client, uh, bonded with them. Um, and then we pitched this year long campaign at the end of last year and they bought it and here we are. So it's, it's pretty awesome. That is, that's great. And so Sammy kind of brought it up and I noticed as well on your site that you you kind of favor experiences over a physical product. So how do you t- determine what products or experiences you will promote and then which ones you kindly pass on? I guess it, it all depends on what we believe in, right? Because content has to be authentic. So if, if a, I don't know, a, a gaming console came up to us and said, you know, promote this, like I haven't, played games since I was a teenager. So for me, there's no way that I could now, you know, tell my community on Insta stories or through my blog that 
this is a great gaming console, you know, you've yeah, got to get it. So. That being said, we still have a brainstorm every time sure. we get an offer, which yes. we kind of like. So we like, let's see if we can come up with it's something that, that's different, that's yeah. unique, that might fit our story and stuff like that has happened where it's, it's almost an unlikely partnership, but everyone benefits in the end because we had some creative um, output and their product, you know, gets um, advertised. So we we don't say no straight away, but there obviously are some some definite no nos which don't kind of fit into our travel lifestyle. Yeah. I think a, a game betting. Uh, website contacted us a while ago wanting to advertise on our blog and we were like there's no way <laughs> like yeah. but yes we, we definitely try where we can uh, come up with some sort of creative uh, way yeah and I'm certain that that yields much more organic content kind of going along with your approach where it was almost like influencer marketing was secondary toward to your uh, travel travel yeah. blog yeah all right, so we also noticed that you offer an interactive online course. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, sure. So um, after about a year and a half of us doing this, um, the, the DMs just kept rolling in. People just wanted to know, how are you doing it? And, and what, can, what do I need to do to do this? And so we were like, okay, well, instead of copying and pasting the same response or trying to craft personalized responses, we thought, well, let's package this into something that can help people that can take them on the same journey that we went through. So it's a it's a four part course. Um, we've also turned it into an ebook now. Uh, so it's it's a little not so not so expensive because a lot of these guys they want to travel. They're saving every last penny. So um, we've given them an ebook option now too. But it's pretty much everything from getting your head in the right place to deciding what to do and how to do it. Um, through to sorting out your money, um, to the planning, which is a huge chapter because of course, you know, people want to know how can you travel for free or how can you travel planning, on a budget a um, and also knowing the right resources, you know, knowing that you can look after a dog and the accommodation is free, you know, little things like that, not everyone knows. So um, it's packaging all of that and obviously getting them on the road and what to do when they're on the road because a lot of these people will be traveling alone which I mean we've had some emotional people contact us uh, you know crying saying I'm so homesick how do you guys do this so um, it's, it's uh, yeah it's we've tried to, to do an all-round package um, and it's it's going well we've had some good feedback and we want to try create more um, it's obviously a great source of income as well because it's passive so um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you also sell artwork. Do you both uh, create the art or? Yeah, I mean, Chanel was a designer and then she moved on to a, become a creative director and I was an art director. So we both know Photoshop, Illustrator and Premiere Pro these days. Now, yes, now we've moved a little more into the photography and video space. Video free, right. Um, um, so, yeah, we both create as much as we can. Yeah. Chanel's definitely more detail focused than I am. So she deals with a lot of the, the admin, thank <laughs> goodness. Otherwise, um, a lot of stuff might have been, you know, I've missed, missed a couple of flights as and, well. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, Steve's a lot more um, heavy on video these days. Um, I do the, sto the Insta stories. Um, we'll share the blog post. We'll share the photography entirely. So, yeah. Want to join IntelliFluence as an influencer for free? It's easy. Visit IntelliFluence.com, click on the Influencers link, and then click on the Join for Free button to sign up. Once you have registered, you will get immediate access to our Influencer Marketplace where you can browse relevant offers from brands and apply on the spot. You'll also be eligible to receive attractive product and service pitches from brands. There's absolutely no cost to join as an influencer, so we hope you take advantage of our service. Also, be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and well, you know the drill. Until our next episode, keep being awesome.